Hello, I'm Bill Lampton. There are several reasons that I recommend this book highly for you if you're in a job search or for you to give to someone who is in a job search. One reason I like the book very much is that it doesn't gloss over the difficulty of seeking employment. It doesn't just say, don't worry about it, everything will work out okay. More candidly and more honestly, the author makes this statement early in the book. Looking for a job can be much more time-consuming, physically exhausting, and emotionally draining than actually performing a job. I like also the fact that this book comes from the author's own experience. He's not someone who just looked at uh, what other people had written. He did a little bit of research. No. He says himself that he went through his own transitions. And in every chapter, he tells you what he learned from that, which relates specifically to the topic of that chapter. The book also, to me, uh, is one that we will want because the author doesn't claim to be a how-to author as far as job searches are concerned. He says there have been enough of those. Instead, he says, the purpose of the book is this, how to lift your spirits in the face of a potentially demoralizing search and how to arm yourself with optimism. One valuable section, and there are many, but one that I'd like to mention is where he advises us to take a skills inventory. He said that he did this himself during one of his job searches. He sat down one day and wrote the skills, listed the skills that he had acquired both during his education and during his work performance. He was surprised when he got to the end of the list to see that he had a wider variety and more depth in the skills area than he would have predicted. Now, this is important because we must sell ourselves first on the ability we have and the services that we can offer, or we'll never be able to sell anybody else on that. When he talks about mentoring, he gives a couple of perspectives that you might not have thought about before and I might not have thought about. One is that your mentor does not have to be necessarily an older person. Depends on what you're looking for. Suppose he said you are looking for guidance in using the social media to boost your job search. Well, it's very likely that you're going to go to a younger person because it's the younger set that is mastering social media. Another point he gives about mentors, he says, your mentor does not really have to be somebody who's present with you all the time. In his own experience, he said, much of my mentoring came because of the webinars that I watched. And being on a rather limited budget, as many people are in a job search, he says, okay, yes, I found a good number of free webinars. Free, isn't that a favorite word of many of us? And it's certainly a vital word when our budget is restricted because we are not on somebody's payroll. The total scope of the book is that to be successful in a job search, we take control proactively and systematically. He gives a good balance in saying that we certainly cannot be job searching every waking moment. Take a break. Do exercise. Take care of your emotional health and even your spiritual health. As you would do in a job that you were holding, give yourself weekends off. And then at different points during your job search, reward yourself. 
reward yourself. He calls this incentivizing yourself. Give yourself a reward, a, a good meal, or something that you wanted to do that you wouldn't ordinarily do. Reward yourself. Even though this book reflects thorough research on the topic, it is simply written. The organization is excellent. You'll find the exercises at the end of each chapter very valuable in implementing what the author has recommended. Again, I recommend this book very highly. Those who use it will keep their spirits high. They'll remain optimistic. They'll take care of themselves. Ultimately, they will be the kind of candidate that organizations are eager to hire. Thanks for being with me. I'm Bill Lampton.